The Significance of Ultrasound in Medical Diagnostics Today, we delve deep into this intriguing topic. Cast your mind back to the early 20th century. The year was 1942 when an Austrian neurologist, Karl Dussek, first used ultrasound for medical purposes. He attempted to locate brain tumors by detecting the transmission of ultrasound beams through the skull. This marked the humble beginnings of medical ultrasound. Fast forward to the 1950s and we see the introduction of obstetric imaging. It revolutionized prenatal care, allowing healthcare professionals to monitor fetal development, assess fetal well-being, and detect potential abnormalities, all in a non-invasive manner. Simultaneously, abdominal imaging made its debut, enabling visualization and evaluation of organs such as the liver, gallbladder, kidneys, and more. This was a game changer in diagnosing and treating various abdominal conditions. In a 3D ultrasound, many 2D images are taken from various angles and pieced together to form a three-dimensional image. This looks more like what you're used to seeing in a typical photograph. 4D is similar to 3D, but it shows movement, so you can see your baby kicking or opening and closing their eyes. Unlike some other scans, such as CT scans, Ultrasound scans don't involve exposure to radiation. External and internal ultrasound scans don't have any side effects and are generally painless, although you may experience some discomfort as the probe is pressed over your skin or inserted into your body. As the decades rolled on, ultrasound technology refined and its uses expanded. The 1970s saw the advent of echocardiography, a groundbreaking technique assessing the heart structure and function. It became an indispensable tool in diagnosing heart conditions. In tandem with cardiac imaging, Doppler ultrasound emerged, revolutionizing vascular imaging. It facilitated the evaluation of blood flow and detection of vascular conditions such as blood clots or aneurysms. The working principle of ultrasound involves the use of high-frequency sound waves to create images of the internal structures of the body. Here is a step-by-step -step explanation of how ultrasound works. Generation of sound waves. Ultrasound machines produce high-frequency sound waves beyond the range of human hearing. The typical frequency used in medical ultrasound is in the range of 2 to 18 MHz MHZ, transducer. The ultrasound transducer is a critical component. It contains piezoelectric crystals that can convert electrical energy into mechanical vibrations, sound waves, and vice versa. When an electric current is applied to the crystals, they vibrate, producing sound waves. Transmission of sound waves. The generated sound waves travel through the body tissues. Different tissues have varying densities and the sound waves encounter resistance as they pass through these tissues reflection of sound waves. When the sound waves encounter boundaries between different tissues or organs, some of the waves are reflected back toward the transducer. The amount of reflection depends on the density of the tissues. Detection of reflected waves. The transducer, which also acts as a receiver, detects the reflected sound waves. The returning waves cause the crystals in the transducer to vibrate, generating electrical signals. Signal processing. The electrical signals generated by the transducer are processed by the ultrasound machine. The machine analyzes the time it takes for the sound waves to travel to the tissues and back, as well as the intensity of the returning echoes. Image formation. Based on the information gathered from the reflected sound waves, the ultrasound machine creates a two-dimensional image known as a sonogram or ultrasound scan. The image represents the internal structures and organs of the body. Doppler effect, if applicable. In some ultrasound examinations, the Doppler effect is utilized to assess blood flow. The Doppler effect involves the analysis of changes in frequency of the reflected sound waves due to moving blood cells. By the 1980s, musculoskeletal imaging joined the ultrasound family. It was now possible to examine soft tissues, joints, tendons, and ligaments to diagnose conditions such as injuries or inflammation. The 90s saw ultrasound further diversify into areas like breast imaging, thyroid imaging, and procedural guidance, aiding in the detection and evaluation of lesions, assessing the thyroid gland for abnormalities, 
and assisting in procedures such as biopsies and drain placements. Fast forward to today, and ultrasound has permeated every medical specialty, from neonatal imaging, urological imaging, ophthalmic ultrasound, to emergency medicine and gynecological imaging. In summary, ultrasound has journeyed from a novel concept to an indispensable diagnostic tool. From its first use in detecting brain tumors to its current widespread applications, ultrasound has transformed the medical field. Its non-invasive nature, real-time imaging capabilities, and lack of ionizing radiation make it a preferred diagnostic tool for healthcare professionals across various specialties. To say ultrasound has revolutionized medical diagnostics would be an understatement. It's a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of better healthcare. Here's to the many more advancements yet to come in the exciting world of ultrasound.